Well, we've spent all this week looking at what's on your mind, how the amazing human brain works, all part of Brain Awareness Week. Tonight, we're going to focus on emotions, a thing called love. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about it right now. I have a very special guest joining me. This is Dr. Bianca Jones Marlin, and she is a neuroscientist and researcher at Columbia University Zuckerman Institute. So good to have you here. Thank you for having me. We've had a great week talking about the human brain, how amazing it is, and your subject matter. You must have fun, you know, with research you do about love and all of that. That's great. I have a blast. We're studying love and love in the brain and yeah. relationships. You can't go wrong with that. Absolutely. I mean, we all can learn every day, you know, no matter how much uh, you read, no matter we, what you think you know, there's always something else that's new. We went out on the street. We talked to a lot of people, and they have questions for you, okay? okay. I'm going to go to the first one right now, and they're looking for an answer. So let's go to the tape and check this one out. Here you go. Doc, what happens to the brain when you're in love and it's all about romance? Oh, love and romance. Love and what romance. happens? What happens to the brain? Yeah. Well, when we feel that feeling of love mm -hmm. and romance, our, our hearts begin to pitter-patter. Mm -hmm. We get butterflies in our stomach. And we think that that's just what love is. But love is actually also important when it comes to releasing chemicals. So mm. chemicals are released in our brain yes. that cause those feelings that we have, the pitter-patter and the butterflies right. in our stomach. That's all natural. It's all natural. It yeah. comes from our body. Our body has prepared us to have these relationships, prepared us to be in love. And it helps us to relax too, right? I mean, there's a natural way of that happening to us. One of the drugs that, that I study called oxytocin oh, yeah. is actually, actually something called an anxiolytic, which okay. means it helps you to relax. It really opens you up to those relationships, mm -hmm. whether it's romantic or even platonic. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, when, when, you, when you are in love, right, it just gets stronger, hopefully, and, and deeper and, and, and more exciting for you. And I think that that combines the, the feeling that you're talking about. It helps to strengthen these bonds, and these bonds are essential for all interactions we have in yeah. our relationships. And they seem to last a lifetime, what we've seen. Oh, that's what we hope. Okay. Uh, we have another question, okay? This is a little on the other side of the fence. Okay, okay. let's check this one out. Here it is. Here it is. What happens to your brain when you get angry, sad, or afraid? Uh, okay, worry, yeah. fear, anger. I mean, all those things can, can be really haunting in many ways. How really is can. the brain affected by all of that, doctor? Our, brain, our brains prepare mm. us for these things. And right. so when we feel stress, for example, there's another chemical that's released naturally called cortisol. And mm. that really helps to protect us. It makes us want to remove ourselves from the situation and yeah. prepare and repair. Mm. It's really when we're under chronic stress for a long period of time that it really starts to deteriorate our bodies and really sure it does. cause a burden. H how can you reverse that, though? I mean, you know, what, what do you do? Do you talk to, to yourself? you talk to other people? Uh, the, the brain's amazing and it's always open for something that we as scientists call plasticity, which mm. means the brain can change, yeah. even in adulthood, which is so exciting. It's why I study what I study. And so certainly oxytocin, talking to people, eye contact, gentle touch, these things can really increase that good feeling that you have and strengthen those relationships. And it's really a shoulder to lean on. It yeah. allows us to create those shoulders to lean okay. on. Okay, before you leave times. us, in short, tell us th about the power of the brain and the good things that we can do with it. The brain is always open to learning. Mm. It never stops learning. And so we can always continue to learn and grow and specifically with love and oxytocin. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's your field, right? And there is something about the power of love. They've written songs about it, they talk about exactly. it, but there's so much power in it, isn't there? There is. Yeah. There is. Oh, well, Dr. Marlin, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Ernie. Great subject.